back to the mom's view. Today we have such an amazing guest. She's probably the biggest star online right now, I would say, with more than half a billion views. The one, the only Jenna Marbles. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> We're all very excited. You were here. I know, this is awesome. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, tell us how you started on YouTube. Uh, I started kind of just making videos and uploading them in college, sort of, for a school project. Yeah. And then I didn't realize that it was kind of a community, and I'm like, why did 600 people watch this? Right. And then <laughs> I found out that there are people that just watch YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And so then I sort of kept making them for fun. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. We're so glad you did. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, <laughs> me so too. when did you actually like realize, like, I mean, because you get millions of views every video. So when did that, like, when was the first one that sort of took off? Uh, the How to Trick People into Thinking You're Good Looking mm -hmm. went viral. <laughs> and I had to call my mom and be like, Mom, I did something on the internet. <laughs> Welcome to my tutorial on how to trick people into thinking you're really good looking. If you were born really ugly like me, have no fear. There's steps you can take to be good looking, kind of. I've already taken some steps before we even start. I bleached the absolute out of my hair, and I tanned my skin because if I did it, I would look like an albino. <laughs> but yeah, then I'd say about a year ago is when I was like, hey, I want to, you know, do this full time, and then mm -hmm. that's kind of when it picked up and it got subscribers and things like that. What does your mom think about you doing this? My mom loves it. Yeah. My mom like <laughs> loves good. it. My mom will text me like 10 minutes after I upload these. She's like, yeah, little well penis face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yes. <laughs> How do you decide what you're going to do each week? Uh, I about? don't. I like freak out on Tuesday night and then I shoot, edit, and upload all on Wednesday. So I'll just like sit around and be like, come on, think of something. I don't know. I got nothing. And then I just like diarrhea onto the end. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> yeah. it seems so nat. Like I was wondering if yeah. you're like writing this down. It just seems really natural. Like no. you're just saying it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I don't <laughs> write anything down. I can't really. That's wow. genius. My brain doesn't yeah. work like that. Yeah. That's why you are where you're at. Yeah. I don't know it's just natural. Comes <laughs> I would, yeah, I would love to plan it. It would be a lot less stressful, mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know. I just throw it out there. I think it works out every time, though. Yeah. Thank you. So good job. Appreciate it. <laughs> so you're on the mom's view. Everyone here is mom. No, I'm not the mom, but <laughs> hopefully, you are hopefully two someday two I will be a mom. But yeah, yeah I'd love to. Yeah. Yes, I, that's I yes. relate everything they're talking about to my dog. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I know that's terrible, but no, um, it's not. It's awesome. It's okay. It's preparation. No, no. <laughs> um, but do you um, want to be a mom? Do you think about? Yes. That? Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I made a video about marriage recently, but uh, one thing I didn't say in that video is I don't really care about getting married so much. It does mean something to me, but I would be really upset, I think, if I didn't have kids someday. No. Because I want to hang out with them and have little buddies and stuff. <laughs> uh, and even if I just, you know, was 35, I'm like, hey, 11-year-old, you want to get adopted? Yeah. You're, oh. Let's go. So I don't care. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just want to hang out with a little friend. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to have a lot of kids? Uh, sure. Who cares? I don't know. The more the merrier. Yeah. It's kind of how I feel like dogs. It's like the law of diminishing returns. You, know, you have one dog, and you're like, whoa, a dog. And then you have two dogs, and you're like, Whatever, three dogs, it's just like the more you have, the more you're like, whatever, just let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Can you talk about your first boyfriends, your first kiss, or just boys in general? That's from Summer Greenification. Oh, gosh. Nice name. I know. That's right. <laughs> your first kiss. Uh, my first boyfriend, um, well, my first real boyfriend was in high school. We dated for like four years. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, like all of high school. Wow. His name was Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Really? Um, yeah, he was good looking too. Um, yeah, that was it was pretty cool. Was, Do you still know Willie? Yeah, we're still friends. No way. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a cool dude. On Facebook? Yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> on Facebook. So yeah. was he your first kiss then? I think probably my first real kiss. I mean, it had like weird little like pecs and, and weird stuff, awkward <laughs> things when you're like nervous and you're like, dude, I missed your face and like your <laughs> eyes are closed way too soon. <laughs> like that like kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably my first real kiss. Yeah. What about you guys, awesome. your first kisses? My first kiss was my cousin. And I didn't know who was my cousin. Oh, oh, my oh my um, I did that too hard. I don't know. Yeah. Let's That's edit that one out. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? It was this, 
what, when was it? I was a prude. Oh, I should have given it up and so much more. There was a lot of guys I could have made out with, but it was the summer before I was a sophomore. I remember guys would try to kiss me and I would like turn my head and like use like my mom. I'm like, my mom will find out. I can't tell. Like, oh, we can't kiss. She'll know. So I remember being like a prude, but it was the summer before my sophomore year. We were on the trampoline with my cousin. I remember like laying in my sleeping bag. She's like, Dylan is riding his bike over because he wants to hang out with you. And it was in Utah. It was in Tremont. Where so you knew from. he was your cousin? No, I didn't oh. know he was my cousin. <laughs> I was like, wait, well, that's weird. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let's get on my cousin. No, and I remember like laying in the sleeping bag and we were having a sleepover on the tramp and he like pedals up on his like BMX bike and I was like, oh, he's so hot. He's a BMXer. <laughs> <laughs> and he like got on the tramp, we're like all talking and hanging out, which my mom probably would be mad about that a boy was on the tramp. But I remember I was just like laying there and he said something and I like turned because I knew he was like really close to my face. I'm like, I cannot kiss him. And he like kissed me so hard. It was like the movie kiss where it's really awkward. <laughs> And I just remember being like, I need to go pee. And I went and decided to lay on the couch because I was scared he was going to kiss me again. And then I told my mom the next day, and she's like, he's your cousin. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but like some distance, some distance. Yeah, he's like, it's in the family, but it's like a remo it's like an ex or a stepdad's son or something. I don't okay. know. It's not like so totally no, blood related. No blood related. Okay. But he would be at a family reunion. Oh, <laughs> I, I kissed my fourth I cousin. 14. I was 15. That's not knowing. Hilarious. Your fourth cousin? Yeah. Way to keep it's it like, like that. I mean, distant. <laughs> Casey's her fourth cousin. <laughs> and then I married him. Just like, <laughs> and they have beautiful like, kids. Oh my gosh, this, this is taking an interesting so turn. I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> your turn. Anybody uh, have a kiss with just not your cousin? Your first uh, one? What's yeah. wrong with that, Lisa? It's awesome. <laughs> I think my, the first make out, not like just a kiss, it was so awkward. Yeah, you it's see terrible. it in movies and it's so romantic and sexy and mine was not like that at all. I felt so bad after. I was like, there's no way he's ever going to kiss me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. And yeah. it was, and I was, I think I was like, I don't know, 14 or something like that. Yeah, my first kiss was horrible. I remember just the whole time being like, what is this crap? Like, it was not <laughs> what, what I thought this? it was going to be. And I was just like, Ugh. And, yeah. yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was just like... Tongue yeah, I was like, oh, some guys kiss like that. Yeah, and I was like, and then yeah, Monday. Or they have like a like, dead fish tongue. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Monday at school, they told them we couldn't go out anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was that's, it. That's that the was bottom good. line. Yeah. Your, oh, Shay, that's hilarious. Your yeah, yeah, Shay's my first and only. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. She has a list. Just kidding. No, and my first was like I think it was the summer before my freshman year actually, and I just remember. It was just gross. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it was probably his first kiss too, and it was like slobbery, and he was just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking, I don't think I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want another kiss. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't into it. Yeah. yeah. But that changed. So, what was uh, your mom's sex talk to you like? It was, it was pretty much like, you know, I waited a really long time to have sex because my parents didn't help me do anything and I knew if I got pregnant that my life would be, you know, intense and that I would have to pay for everything. And she's like, so I waited for a really long time to have sex. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was a different type of sex talk than I wanted or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like stuff like that kind of, you remember in yeah. your life when you get older, even you're like, la, 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 I don't want to hear it, oh, shut up, mom. Um, but then when you get older, you're like, you know what? My mom didn't have me until she could afford me and like, you know, yeah. felt like she was yeah. in a good place. So I was like, maybe I'll do that too. It was a good idea, mom. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. When you have kids, kids, if you have a daughter, I mean, do you think you're going to be strict? Do you think you're going to talk about these kinds of things and sex with them and dating and boys? And <laughs> how, how are you going to approach things like that? Yeah, I'm pretty mom? upfront. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, listen, baby girl, <laughs> some boy's going to try to get you pregnant. <laughs> That's all he's going to want to do. <laughs> That's so, true. Yeah, well, I'll probably be pretty uncomfortable about it. I'm going to be that yeah. mom and be like, mom, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing me. Awesome What's wrong? Though. All your friends are having sex. I <laughs> know. It's like the mom yeah. on Mean Girls. Has anybody seen that movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She comes oh, up with yeah. condoms anyone? Oh, yes. Like, yes. I think that's, a, I think you have to be very upfront. Up, up front. <laughs> you have to be very upfront and blunt with them because mm -hmm. they're going to, you know, they're going to hear it from any band. I remember yeah. my dad being that way and just being like, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. But it was mm -hmm. really helpful to just know, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's out there. So, yeah. yeah. I, I think my mom covered that pretty early on because she was really, really young when she got pregnant with me. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to make sure that didn't happen. So, what, so but when she was she... really open and honest. I think, like you, like, this is what's going to happen. And yeah. So, and I was so glad. 
So mm-hmm. at, just at a certain age, she just started talking to you about where, Did you already know? Well, I don't even know or, what age because I feel like I was really young. She was always honest with me about, you know, or both of my parents were really honest about it. That's great. So... Communication and open, yeah, because <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. it, it's it's hard. As look. awkward as Plus it can it's feel, like, I mean, you know, it's in the school. You know, they're gonna hear it from their mm-hmm. friends, so they might as well hear it from you and be the truth. Like the other day's, like Cooper or Cooper's, like, Mom, where do babies come from? I'm like, some women they come out their pee, some they come out their belly button. And just mm-hmm. Spencer's like, I never want to have a baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna pee on a baby. It's okay. <laughs> but I think if you just tell them, because then it's like their minds have to wonder, and then their friends tell them something that you know is not correct, and then they right. have to like put the two and two together, and then it's like this weird misconception, like. I thought sex was something totally different than the first time it happened. And I was like, that is not what I expected. There's the internet <laughs> now, though, too. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. When I was growing up, I mean, you, there was no information on anything. Right. So now you can you can go online and see anything you want to see. So, mm-hmm. it, or, you know, and read about anything. Please don't so go Google sex. Yeah, please. Yeah. Not <laughs> Children watching. Yeah, so it's just out. So I think getting the parents' perspective is probably the most important. And knowing right. that they can talk to you and that you can communicate with them. Yeah, right. plus when you're like 13 or 14 or younger or whatever, you know your parent is eventually going to sit down and be like, mm-hmm. let's have a conversation. Yeah. Like, you anticipate it coming. Mm-hmm. I remember being like, oh, God, when is that going to happen? You know, <laughs> it's going to be so awkward. It's going to suck. But <laughs> then, it, then it feels better afterwards. So you're on the Internet and you're doing this full-time, obviously. Did you aspire to do something different? Did you want to be in entertainment? What road, what path were you on? Uh, I got a master's degree in sports psychology and counseling from Boston University. Uh, And yeah, I was supposed to have a pretty different life. (laughs) Sort of. Um, But then it's like my life kind of took a jut over here. Like I went down this road and I was like, that road looks pretty cool. Let's go down Mm -hmm. there. Why not? That's awesome though that you can do both. Yeah. Is awesome. this, is it, like, did you know you were funny? Did you know you were a comedian? Did you know, like, did, you know, is this something that just because you did it, it came out? Did you know this about yourself? I don't know. I mean, I knew people, like, laughed or something. But yeah. that I put most of that in the fact that I'm just, like, really weird. Like, I know that. <laughs> I know I'm very weird. And it usually just makes people, like, super uncomfortable. Um, so I knew that going in. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think, like, people would watch my videos. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I know. So, from your perspective, what do you think it is about your videos that people just love? I mean, because the views obviously show. Yeah. I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, if anyone knows, tell me. Um, but I think some of it has to do with the fact that I'm st- I'm still like alone in my bedroom and I kind of just like do whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like people know that they don't know what's coming or what's going to come out of my mouth, but it, they can count on it being legitimate. Like I'm a real person. Like mm-hmm. that is I think something funny. that's good about your videos is it's like things that some of us want to say. Yeah, but we're like, yeah, yeah it's so true. We were yeah. saying this, but you say it and it's like, oh my gosh, I was thinking that, but mm-hmm. if I knew if I said it, I didn't want anybody to be like. So it's awesome that you're just. Yeah you and put it out there. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll say things that you don't want to say. Yeah. Okay, thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. That's how I am sometimes. My family gives me the look. I'm like, oh, did I cross the inappropriate line? <laughs> yeah. I think you make people aware of the things that they do, too. I remember yeah. I was getting ready to go to the airport, and I was like, do I have too much jewelry on? I don't want to be one of those. <laughs> yeah. The first thing I have a problem with is is walking through the security line decked out in every kind of metal there is. I'm sorry, did you not know that you were getting on an airplane today? Did you not think about the fact that you were gonna have to go through security and a metal detector? When I go to the airport, I'm wearing like leggings, a shirt, and maybe like a sweatshirt. <laughs> we're really <laughs> dancing one night and we're like, are we being those girls in the club? <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about that before too, that's funny. That is funny. That makes me so feel real. so good. That makes me feel so good. You're cleaning everyone up. Yeah. Making us think about Keeping us in check. Yeah, think about your <laughs> shit, you know? So tell us about your name. You're actually Jenna Mori, right? Yes, correct. Uh, when I made my YouTube channel, I was like, I shouldn't make my name Jenna Mori because then my parents are going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I named my I put named my channel Jenna Marbles because my dog's name is Mr. Marbles. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I was like, no, no one's going to find this. You know, mm-hmm. Jenna Marbles, no, but yeah, I'm good. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> doesn't matter now. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Whatever. But you're so, not. Yeah. Do you see yourself doing this forever in five years? Do you want to still be on YouTube and making videos? And uh, I have no idea. And I think that's part of the fun of it. That's part of the terrifying thing about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's part of the excitement because the internet like changes like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I'm going to do this forever. I don't know if I'm going to be in this world or whatever. 
forever. I think I'm just gonna, you know, play it by ear, and then whatever happens, happens, and then you change and adapt, and yeah, you know, right. I don't care. I see you on yeah. SNL. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> Kristen Wiig. Not, not even yeah, like a I character. Just we went to you. the same high school. You really? really? Yeah, yeah well, like ten years apart. Everyone so. says that I'm her like look alike. I'm like, okay, thanks. She's, like, so she's awesome. funny. <laughs> She's the, not even the New York Times compared you to Sarah Silverman, right? Do you love Get Sarah out. Silverman? Yeah, I didn't you know? know that. <laughs> that's, a, that's that's what. Or uh, Pamela yeah. Anderson, either yeah. one. <laughs> Are you a fan of hers? Yes, big yes, time. She's awesome. Yeah, she's very funny. Who's your favorite comedian? <laughs> so awkward. Honestly, I'd have to say like Will Ferrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like for sure. Yeah. Anything he does, I'm just like giggling. <laughs> <laughs> We watch Elf a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this question is from 100 TLD. My question is, if you like a guy and want to tell him, how do you do so? Also, if he doesn't feel the same way, how do you keep the friendship without ruining it? I can't answer that. I can't answer that. <laughs> you can't? No, I can't. Oh, you can't. Yeah. yeah, I just walk right up to him and go, hey, I like you. That's it. <laughs> Seriously. That's awesome. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, you're like, alright, cool, see you later. Have you done that before? Yeah. No way. I have yeah. That's great. That's awesome. I'm pretty yeah. straightforward. I think guys are used to them going to girls. Mm -hmm. I go to mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great because a lot of times, you know, females are taught to not do that and, you know, play hard to get and you don't want to be the one yeah. chasing a guy and you get all these mixed messages. But I think that's really healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. How, yeah. Did you, were you always that way? No. So what? No, when? I really like, I, I did it like my past two boyfriends for my current boyfriend. Sorry, that's weird. <laughs> but boyfriend, boyfriend. I would just like this overwhelming feeling. I'm like, I'm just gonna go tell that kid I like him, and then I'll just be like, hey, I like you. And they're kind of just like, oh, 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 oh. And and if they if they didn't like me back, I really would have just been like, all right, you know, whatever, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Over it. Uh, but no, I wasn't like that. But then since it worked, and I tried it once, mm -hmm. and you get over that like, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen? I don't know. <laughs> and you're like, you know what? This is so much better. Yeah. Like, yeah. what am I doing? It saves yeah. the stress and the drama. In my room and cry and go to the phone. Text your BFF and, and be like, OMG. Oh, it saves so much time. Yeah. 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 That's great advice. I commend you guys. I could never. I'm totally like, if he likes me, he will tell me. I know. <laughs> and I won't have to do anything. No. I'll just sit here and be liked. I was just but thinking that. So I'm like, school. I don't think I've ever told a guy that I like him first. Yeah. You know? I don't think I ever have. But why do you think? I mean, it's 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 something. I mean, you're a hot catch. You don't have to worry about that's it. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's just. Do you think it's just something that you felt you were taught, or society, or what? What? I think I was just shy. Like, right. I was yeah. like, oh, that's okay. I'll just maybe mm -hmm. if he likes me, he'll talk to me. <laughs> but <laughs> so no, I think I, I was just shy. I don't know that it was necessarily something that was taught to me. Right. Yeah. But that's so it's endearing. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that's rare to, to for like a female to be like, this is what I want, and I'm gonna oh, go do it. Oh, it's like, awesome. I, I think it's that's I think that is be. rare to hear that. But that's even great, on a buddy. date, I think a lot of my friends will go on dates and like he hasn't called me in four days. I'm like, you call him. Yeah, like you don't right. have to wait for guys. Like I think mm -hmm. it's old school. People, mm -hmm. women are used to like the guys pursuing them. Like I'm mm -hmm. like they're calling you. Did they haven't called you? You let them know you had a good time on a date. Don't wait for them to say right. it. So is that what you do? Yeah, so, yeah. I'm like this straightforward. Well, let me see. <laughs> now, when I was like younger, a teenager, I was a bit mm -hmm. more reserved, and I was married. But yeah, now mm -hmm. a little bit more. Yeah. Although I don't have a great dating life, but <laughs> when I do, yeah. And it's also just <laughs> important that you're. I mean, your feelings shouldn't be tied to that other person not liking you about yourself. You know, you should right. be able to feel good if somebody doesn't like you. you should be able to be like, that's okay. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I, you know, feel mm -hmm. confident enough without that. Which I think with women too, a lot of times you're taught to. Your identity is tied to being with somebody, or totally. you know, and I think we sometimes get caught in that. So that's really good advice. I yeah. think too, if you can just do that, then it eliminates that. Like maybe he does like you, he's just shy to tell you, but yeah. you're sitting here thinking, does he like me? I don't know, and then you're freaking out about it. When if you just would talk to him, yeah. then mm -hmm. you might be a lot more relaxed. I think yeah. it might surprise <laughs> some guys because I think some guys wouldn't like be ready for that, and it might be like hot that it's like this woman's taking this part, like nope, I like you. Well, it's a lot. Of, it takes the stress off them. They're like, oh, cool. I don't yeah. have to worry about it now. Yeah. Well, well it's, it's a lot of pressure. Like you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you're crazy What's or you're cool. Eh. You? I'm like, well, you better figure it out now. So, <laughs> so you don't find out on your own. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of pressure for guys too because yeah. they're probably shy and would rather girls do that. You mm -hmm. know, so it's the same kind of gender pressure of like, it's my job to go do that. But it's probably really scary. You know, yeah. yeah. So, when yeah. Casey and I started dating, we were both so young that we just kind of ignored each other. We were like. <laughs> Hey. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, I would go to his friends, does he like me? Uh -huh. like, I'll find out. 
you know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Are there little letters, yeah. yes or no? No. <laughs> You'd have to like. No. We were like, do you want to make out? Okay. <laughs> and, you know, and, like, going through friends and like, crying in my room. That's so totes Do you like me? Totes amazed. Totes oh. amazed. Okay. <laughs> so I think it comes with age and confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's hard no, being it's young. Yeah. yeah. I know. That's I know. Yeah, I do not want to go back and <laughs> Or just single in general. Okay, just being single in general is... It is. Well, yeah, <laughs> in this town, seriously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So I can't imagine it would be, like, totally bizarre. Because most people here are crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Like not even like a like an okay normal crazy. Like I'm crazy, but they're like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just like life crazy. What is your life about? <laughs> so you gotta watch out. So what were you like in high school? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I, I played all our sports. I played softball and diving and bowling. Dive oh, oh, yeah. Cool. Diving? Yeah, buddy. Dive. I played cool. softball, too. Daps. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was outfield. Nice. I have a really good arm. Nice. What did you play? She did. Uh, pitcher in outfield. Really? Yeah. My sister's a pitcher. So pitch See? fast. Well, let's play That's together. Awesome. Just kidding. Yeah. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I played in college, so I'm, like, really retired. Cool. Like, I'm over it. So you, you were really good in college? college? Yes. That's rad. Over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how my little sister was. She pitched in college too, and she yeah. hated it. Then you're like, I'm done yeah. forever. Wow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she's, away. she's kind of coaching now. But. Oh, see, that's cool. That's yeah. all right. That's different. Yeah. As long as you don't have to do it anymore. Right. <laughs> Deal with that. That's a lot of pressure on a pitcher. Mm -hmm. Do you think you were like outgoing? Like, did you have like a lot of friends, or were you more shy and reserved? Um, I didn't. I had like a few friends. Um. My best friend actually dropped out of high school, which mm -hmm. sucked. Aww. And I was like, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I had lots of friends. Like, everybody liked me or whatever. It wasn't I wasn't, like, super popular or I just kind of did my own thing. I've mm -hmm. just always been really weird. <laughs> I'm all fixed. We're all weird. <laughs> but, <laughs> were you into school? Like, did you do well in school? Did you care about, like, Yeah, I did well or? in school. Um, unfortunately, I went to, like, a really good high school. Mm -hmm. So everyone, like, went to, like, my brother went to Cornell. Everyone yeah. was going to, like, Ivy League schools. I'm like, God damn it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry you believe all that. F. <laughs> <laughs> So I like went to a school in Boston and like everyone's like, what is that? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and then I found out I was like, hey, I'm actually not that stupid. I'm actually pretty smart. So yeah. it wasn't until college that I was like, oh, I am mm -hmm. doing okay. I just yeah. thought I was doing so bad by comparing mm -hmm. myself to all these people that are effing geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, well yeah, I was into school. I tried. That's awesome. Yeah. So do you ever feel like you you would rather be doing what you went to school to be doing than this? No. Honestly, awesome. no. Um, it's really fun and really awesome, but what I'm doing right now is so much more fun. Yeah. yeah. Just like, what are we doing? <laughs> We're all just sitting here hanging out, right? Yeah. 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 What, is our, what are our lives about? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I think it's definitely something. It's like Shay always says, it's a dream of a dream you never knew you had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is very true. Yeah. He well, took the words out of everyone's brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. This was awesome. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> nervous. <laughs> These guys are all. I know. I felt like, like, like fans. It's, it's like bigger down. than like Cindy Crawford or somebody big, like George Clooney. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Totally. In this industry, in YouTube, you know, you're like or yeah. the Julia Roberts of like. Yeah. That is Hollywood. just a ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, your no. show gets more views than most TV shows yeah. every single week. And that's Go on, brush your shoulder off. It's okay. Yeah. Just and you're <laughs> a female, which is awesome. I know. It's, it's rare to have power. such a successful It's yeah. exciting. Yeah. I'm excited. Up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, we have a giveaway, too. We do. A giveaway on our it Facebook. It is. Oh, yours. It's a nail art kit, so you can get all this fun stuff and do all your nails. And the way you get this is go to our Facebook page and answer what you would do to tell that boy or that girl that you like them or if you would do that. So cool. go answer awesome. the question, and Very we'll pick fun. the best one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank Don't you. forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe and subscribe to Jenna. And we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>